Okay. Love, Sam. Danny, what's good, Danny girl? How you doing? All right. Do I have to fix the settings somehow? I don't know. I have no sound whatsoever. Okay, I have no sound. Um, volume. It's all the way up. Okay, let's just put it all the way up and and see. Yeah, I I don't hear it. Is it my end? Aren't I supposed to hear stuff? Um Oh, hold on, guys. Let me see. Am I gonna have to... I might have to restart the game. No sound, only hear you. Yeah, I might have to... Load it up again? Maybe? I don't have any sound whatsoever from this game. And I'm not sure if... It's supposed to be like that or not. Uh, let me close the game real quick. And... Is your sound up on the computer? Uh, yeah, it is. I hear my computer. I hear it. And I hear the alerts as well. I just don't hear the game itself. Let's just load it up again. And see. What's going on? Because I couldn't even hear it uh, at all. Not even the, the startup um, menu. Hmm. Yeah, that was the notification for the fall. Oh, there it is. Here's the sound. All right. I hear it now. Could you guys hear that? Let me know. Please let me know if you guys hear that. The ticking sound, me moving on the bed and all that good stuff. I got a new mic, by the way. Yeah, it's working. I hear it. Turn up. Hell yeah. The game just needed... Uh, a little, you know... Restart. It's because I was playing Aniko. I was uh, playing Aniko from Chilla's Art. Uh, before I was playing this game. Alright, so we have a bathroom with nothing in it. Apparently. We only have a miserable little piece of, of soap. Can't use the toilet. And we can't use the shower. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. And the door's closed by itself. Typical horror game, I guess. How's you doing? I'm doing good, dope man. I'm doing good. How are you? Turned down for what? Big facts. Big facts. So what are we doing here? Is there a light for the kitchen, by the way? There is. Cool, we got some pots. What do we got in the fridge? We got nothing in the fridge. We are broke. We only have this little ass drink. Which we're not thirsty right now. And what do we got here? Okay. Okay. That one's locked, so we probably need a key for that. Alright, and then we have a chair and a book, so... Screw it. What do we got? My dirty little secrets. Read on to move on. Alright, read on to move on. Let's get it. The last human on earth was sitting alone in a room. And there came a knock on the door. 
Uh, how do I, uh, exit? Ah, like that. Somebody gonna knock at the door? Uh, I don't think so. Alright. Cool. Alright, let's move on. I've never cared for keeping a diary, but it seems to be good time to start keeping one. Why? Because after all these years, I just can't forget about what used to be the light of my life. I know, overdramatic much. Knowing Brian Calmer was as much as I did is bound to leave that big chunk of residue. Let's just say this diary, that's what's left of a relationship. Alright, so we got a stalker. Uh, we got, now the volume is way too high, so let me just lower a little bit. It sounds like we got some type of crazy person here. Uh, everything went good. Everything went good, ancient, as always. Just waiting for my new stream mic. Hey, yo, I just got mine, like, two days ago. Uh, dope man. So I feel you. Are you playing on PC? Yes, I am. I'm playing on PC right now. Alright. Three years, no, three years have passed and the world around me is still the same. Well, I expect for me. I look like a mummified corpse. What would B say if he saw me again? B left Rosen Peak the moment he graduated high school to go a fancy college of his dreams. This is giving me a lot of vibes of 13 reasons why. Like, for real, for real. Since then, I could only rely on my memories of him to keep on going. I wonder if it was the same for him, too. When you love someone, his whole existence just gets hedged into your brain. So no matter how much B changes, I will always know it's him. But will B do the same for me? I know B liked me a lot too, but he was not the most likely person to remember stuff. Considering how long three years felt for me, it's possibly he did forget about me. Or am I giving him too little credit? So here it comes to the big question. Please tell me... You order the blue Yeti mic. I didn't order the blue Yeti mic. Um, but I did get a professional uh, mic. I did get a professional one. Uh, I'm using it right now, so hopefully it's clear enough. Will you remember me? Yes, no. Well, we do got a pencil here. Oh, okay. Will Brian remember me? Hmm, will he? I don't know. I'm gonna say yes, though. I'm gonna say yes. Uh, how do I put the, the pencil down? Oh, there you go. Cool. Okay. Can I move on? There you go. Who am I kidding? It's B we're talking about. He didn't have the most perfect relationship, but he... He won't just dump my, his memory of me down the toilet or something. It's too much of a nice guy for that. And don't forget, cute. I just hope our time together was meaningful enough to him. Enough to make him cherish even the darkest ones. Rare. Who are we dealing with here? I feel like this is not our diary. It's clear. No, he won't remember her. Oh my god, Haitian. Imagine. Imagine. Speaking of cherishable memories. I wonder what happened to Joe's Diner. It used to be my favorite place. Naturally because it was B's favorite place to begin with. Okay. This person is a freaking... Wait, what? Dude, don't play with me. Not in the middle of the story. Alright. This is kind of creepy. Okay, this girl's like a little off. Like, her favorite place is the diner because that's his favorite place. That's crazy. If there were two things that were too good for Rose and Peak, it would be Brian and Joe's diner. Home of the best pancakes in the world, Brian Calmer. Five stars, Brian Calmer. I got a big crush on Brian Calmer. Damn. What else would you do for Brian if he asked you to? Like, goddamn. Things were so much easier back then. B could just go, hey. And I would be like, hey. Nothing but hanging out after that. With some occasional visit to Colton Hill. We had such a good thing going. Stock alert. <laughs> no kidding. Will he remember my voice? Oh, fuck. What? Hello? How do I pick up? Oh, I hung up. Oh, shit. Okay. Um. I hung up. Alright. Uh. Did time really ruin our moments?
Okay. Who the hell is this? Okay. Okay. We safe, we safe, alright. We we're still safe. Uh can I read it? Boop. I just wanted to say hello every time I called them, but what I wanted to do and can do are two different things as always. Dude this this background noise like it's tripping me out. Like I said, stock alert, run Tina, run, save yourself. Imagine Jesus. Just enjoying Beast Presence on the other side of the phone was satisfying too in a way though. Am I Brian reading the crazy girl's diary? Like I wonder. Hey, I just imagined him eagerly waiting to hear something other than my breath. Hi. Bro, this woman is calling this man and not saying nothing. Okay, th that's fucking creepy as fuck. I wish I could sneak into people's minds. Look. What the fuck? Close it. The fuck? Oh, there's a note. What the fuck? That was a debut outfit. I admire your confidence, Sam. And with that, my whole high school years were probably over. First day of school and the new girl in town got classified as undesirable by what it seems to be the queen of Wayright Academy. I spent last night telling myself confidence, Sam. Confidence. But it looks like I should have spent time picking better clothes. Okay, so this is the real Sam. These notes right here. The diary must be somebody else. I try not to care too much about blending in, but these kids already look at me like I'm candy-handed out by strangers. The package seems fine, but you know, there's something fishy in there. Judging from their whispers, I could figure out they didn't know way right, even accepted transfers. It's been less than 24 hours since I moved to Rosen Peak, and I already enjoy sitting alone in my dorm room more than the attempt of socializing with people who call me a city girl. Well, screw you too, hillbillies. Besides, I decided not to force myself into making friends after how my old friends decided to turn on me. I just hope these guys leave me alone at last. Or at, at least. Keeping a diary sure can help keep things together in all the chaos. I haven't kept a diary since kindergarten, but it seems like a good time to restart. Restart what? What? I can't, I can't read that word. I don't know what that means. Um, kudos. Oh, it's kudos because the bracket next to it. I was like, what? Kudos to mom for giving me the advice. Oh, shoot. I almost forgot calling her. Write you later, diary. My only true friend. Love, Sam. Now entering Rosen Peak. Okay, that, that's weird. All right. Basically, you are Brian reading this crazy girl stalker book. I think so. But also, I don't think it's Sam either. I think it's somebody else other than sam like there's a stalker person but we don't know and the stalker person might make us believe that it's sam but i don't think it is hey commander what's good thank you so much for the follow look be uh beyond their eyes just by staring if i had th that power i would never stop looking through b's window see that's a stalker man she better not be at the window right there see through B's window. We are Brian, I'm thinking. And Brian found this. Hey, thank you so much for checking that on Discord. I appreciate it, honestly. And thank you so much for the follow. Will B remember the moment he came into my life? For me, it is as clear as the moment he left. So clear that the downfall of our relationship st still cuts deep into my heart. Okay, so here it is. Friend, special someone, and then blood. I don't know what that means. Yeah, life in Rosen Peak. Oh shit, look, that's moving. Holy shit. I think we are Brian. I think I think so. Yeah, life in Rosen Peak was a jar filled with bittersweet candies. Not exactly tasteful, but I learned to enjoy it. Nonetheless, it's where my heart lies. Alright. 
I wrote a poem in B's memory. Holy shit, bro. Like, come on. Brian don't even think about you. It's been three years. He used to struggle with Miss Laisley's poetry practice, even if he didn't have to try that hard. Miss Laisley always told us poetry is not about using fancy words. Let your feelings do all the work. Well, this is how I feel. I stand at his doorstep, heart filled with desire. He rushes down the stairs, heart red like fire. Oh my god. But before his spirit can soar first, he must answer the door. Okay. Oh shit! Oh my god, let's go to the door. Oh my god, the light's lit. Oh my god. Thank you, Nonsense. Thank you so much for the tab. Oh my god, what are we gonna see? What are we gonna see? Well, there's nothing. I don't see anything. Can I open the door? No. The closet. Is it, a, is it in the closet? No. Dude, I have nothing in this apartment. Like, I'm... I'm broke. Ah, I got you, Prima. Thank you so much, Nonsense. How's the games going? Ah, they're going good. I just started. Look at you, Nightmare. Knock, knock. Knock, knock. Ooh, we got, we got a note. We got another note. August 22nd, 2006. Stacy is a classic. FYI, she's the one who talked crap about my favorite vintage skirt. It's like she jumped straight out of a cheesy teen drama. Blonde, hot, always talking, and a cheerleader. She even has a beefy jock for a boyfriend. I didn't want to start talking shit about someone already, but how could I resist? Every time I get into Stacy's view, triggered an obvious backbite. I'm seriously starting to think she's under a curse that kills her if she stopped talking about someone else. Okay. Do you guys think that the stalker girl is Stacy? Maybe? Hmm? Maybe? Who knows? I'm Stacy. I'm pretty. Sadly, coping with her bit bitchiness wasn't the hardest part of the day mom called again as far as she knows it's just rainbows and butterflies here at rosen peak yo smack boy behind me don't scare me Haitian. don't hate don't 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 scare me what's good smack thanks so much for stopping by i'm modding two streams at the same time so i'm here and not all good dope man i do appreciate it i do appreciate it a lot it's the thought that counts, and I, I do appreciate it, Dope. I can still remember the complicated face she made when I told her that my application was accepted by Wayright. None of us were expecting them to prove a transfer request of a 11th grader. Even if she told me she understands my need to move out of the city, I really feel guilty for leaving her alone. You already used up the last runaway chance, Sam. Get yourself together. If not for you, for mom. So, like I said, I don't think it's Sam. I'm sorry, but I don't think it's Sam. Hey. Other way, right? Kids were so predictable. Their doors were all already open even before I put my hand on the knob. But B's door was closed shut and so beautifully painted. Everyone liked him but couldn't get him to open up. I knew there was something more behind that pretty paint. Something behind his bright smile. Look how creepy that is, dude. Alright, but on the other hand, being able to hang out with him was a good enough blessing for me. Enough to make me want to never leave his side. Never ever. Like, never ever. Now I'm joking. Tina Stacy behind you, run. Stop! Stop scaring me, Haitian. Oh my gosh. Haitian is trying to give me a heart attack. I'm trying to keep my composure. What the hell is this? Yo, everything went quiet. Have you guys noticed that? All you can hear is the damn clock. Oh my god. Oh, fuck. Okay. Oh! Fuck you ass uh, Light it 
Oh, fuck. There's no light. Oh, my God. There's a note. Oh, my God. That fucking scared me. At the window. Stop, nightmare. Oh, my God. Thank you so much, Cubano. I do appreciate you. The clock is ticking. Told you to run. Oh, my God, dude. This game is getting good. It's a little, like... On the story side, but I feel like this is going to be a really good horror game, guys. Like, the reviews on this is up the roof. Haitian did say behind you. I know. Told you to run. Oh, my God. This is crazy. My first Rosen Peak weekend. As the name itself gives away, the small town fits perfectly as a setting for a mystery horror genre. Lush forests, endless hills, and a lake that I'm certainly is hiding a couple of dead bodies. I could pay a visit one day and take some gorgeous shots. As for now, I'm just going to leave those, I don't know, POIs on my to-do list, which is already filled with crazy amount of homework. Now, no white youngsters of Wayright will try their best to get as far away from the school as possible after class to escape from choking on the pressure of the teachers give them. Ayo. Even on the weekends, pretty girls like Stacy will have their boyfriends give them a ride, and others make use of the power of the public transportation to get to more crowded parts of town. It does feel too quiet with no one left in school, but at least I don't feel as lonely as I in San Diego. At least I don't have to watch everyone I know turn their faces away. Oh, that scared me. That scared me. There was an alert. I'm not sure what it was. Let's see. Hey, Haitian with the host. Haitian, that host scared the living shit out of me. Jesus Christ. Alright, uh, where was I? Hmm, I just feel too quiet with no one left in school, but at least I don't feel as lonely as in San Diego. At least I don't have to watch everyone turn their faces, blah, blah, blah. At least I don't have to be reminded of how fucked up things can be in a single moment. Moving on won't be easy, but as long as I keep myself busy, it won't be that hard. As for my weekend plan, it is... I'm, I will just improvise in the morning. Write you later. Love, Sam. Cool. B was always pushing his limits. Well, it was more like he was always being pushed but he was good at it that's why he naturally became the best quarterback of the team while maintaining his high grade for a start player he was the best quarterback way I could ask for seeing him running all sweaty in the field always triggers something tingly within me oh my god this girl needs this girl needs to calm down something that made me Want to catch him behind his back and never let go. Jesus. What a freak. Is she a freak? <laughs> Thinking about the dude. That's crazy. Alright, all sorts of feelings and thoughts were pumped restlessly into my brain with every heartbeat. It gave me a bad headache. A good kind of a bad headache. I wanted to stop. I wanted to stop. Wait, wait, wait. I wanted to stop. And I wanted it to never stop. Jesus Christ. But as soon as B gave me that, hey, all the headaches were washed away. It used to be the best prescription I could ask for. Take away the pain and let only good things stay. Oh. Okay. Creepy. Hi, hi, hey, hey, hi, hi. Wait, do I put the hey here? Oh. 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 Holy shit, dude. No. What the fuck? Oh. For boarding school way right intellectuals are not that interested in becoming intelligent. Visited the library today and two things surprised me. The place was much bigger the one in my old school. Someone could get lost in here. I had a strong feeling that people rarely visit the library. Maybe because they feared being lost in there. The place was too clean. Even the books showed a little signs of human touch. Now I feel sorry for complaining about Mrs. Lazy's book assignment. I wonder if Stacy is even thinking of picking up a book. With her admiring her boyfriend Kyle's tattoo all day, I doubt she would spare time to do that. If she's depending on Kyle to do reading for her, seriously? 
According to what I saw so far, he's either busy reacting to whatever's coming out of Stacy's mouth or working up on the shenanigans with his jock buddy Brian, was it? So, yeah, right. So, right here, it just proves that that is not her diary because she doesn't even, she just mentioned Brian and she's not like all giddy over him. In the meantime, I should be more concerned about himself than, well, being in the whole school. Too cool for books. Cool. All right, open those eyes. No need for words. The sweetest love songs. Those eyes utter. So turn around and sing for me. Oh, fuck. What are we doing? What's gonna happen? Oh! I died? Did I die? Oh shit, I died. Okay. So I guess I just look at you. Holy crap. So what do we do? Can I leave? Oh. Okay. What? Oh, there's a stick. Bro. Oh, no, no, no. I want the light on. Shit, yo. So what do I do? Oh, you just put the stick there? Alright, visit us the library again. A bit more people than before. And among them was Brian. It's not worth a uh, bother. But seeing a major skank's boyfriend. But wandering around the library is uncanny by anyone's standard. He must have been there to pick the book for Mrs. Laisley's assignment. I almost got close to him, trying to see what he was going to pick. I really hope he didn't notice that. I'd rather be known as a regular geek than a creepy one. A jock in the library? Now I've seen everything. Woe is me, hate to admit, but seeing Brian at the library was today's only diary-worthy event, probably because it's the only human interaction that didn't give me the sensation of someone talking behind my back. At least today, today's entry is a tad more meaningful than what I wrote yesterday. I need to revise my book options now. Write you later. Love, Sam. Hit her with the stick. I know, right? That's crazy. Wait. Okay. Can we flip the page? I miss him, even when I'm with him. I see him, even when he's not looking. Bro, the light just turned on, dude. Who's not behaving? Everybody's behaving. Anyways, uh, whoa, wait. Is he going towards the bed? I'd much rather uh, we focused on the game and whatever you guys are talking about. Just, just leave that. Uh. What are we doing here? I'm gonna beat somebody with the stick. That's what I'm gonna do if you guys don't behave. <laughs> Imagine. I pull out a big stick. No, I'm kidding. Alright. 
Uh, I don't know yet, Haitian. Uh, but I know that the diary is not Sam. I think. I think. I think Sam is these notes here. It was Mr. Scotty's night psycholo uh, psychology class, and he still managed to come up with another lame activity. This time, he gave each of us a sheet and made us write down some of our own personal traits. For the next 10 cringy minutes, I managed to squeeze out some of the aspects of myself, and I could hate less. After that, Mr. Kane told us to think about whether or not others would agree to each other. He called it re... re... What? Re-engaging this perspective towards oneself. Blah, blah. Wow. I really needed to reevaluate my stupid self. But it's not the dumb conscience exercise that bugs me right now. When the papers were being passed around, Brian, yep, him again, kind of smiled at me. It's 11 p.m. now. Why am I writing about this? It's most likely an accidental glance, but I still don't know why. The very image hovered in my... In my head for the rest of the class. Okay, the rest of the day. Stupid brain probably wants an excuse for screwing up today's math test. Get out of my brain. So, hmm. You see, this note right here kind of references to maybe it is her. I don't... Oh, that's so cool. Oh, that's so cool. Did you guys see her creeping over there? In the bed? That was neat. Alright. I have a feeling that's a creepy stalker. As the time we spent together grew longer, one question kept on growing with it. What does what does the me and B's eyes look like? Does he see me as I see him? Does he see me as I see myself? Does he see me as I want him to? I screamed in agony. But there was nobody to even hear it. Okay. Oh no. That was creepy. We got... We got a little, you know... Little thingy here, okay. Do not overthink. Uh... No, you overthink. Will never lie to my friends. Uh, I'd say yes. Never use others for my personal gains. What you guys think? I don't know. Um... Would she use? I don't think she would. Won't betray anyone close to me. Um, okay. Never act on impulse. Don't run away from my responsibilities. Oh. What's going on here? Okay. Oh, I can't flip the page. Oh, there's another one. I didn't see it. Am I a fucking freak? Yes, you are. Oh, shit. <laughs> Oh my god, I was I was returning some of the books I checked out and he came out of nowhere. Hey, anything worth reading? I never thought the voice was aimed at me, but my heart was somehow already skipping a beat. Brian had to tap me on the shoulder to get my complete attention. Sam, right? I saw you going in and out of the library, he said with a buttery voice. It's not like I've been, been stalking you or anything. I just come here from time to time to get the stupid assignment out of the way so I can focus on my games. He said he couldn't find anything interesting to read since all he could think of were comics. He could use uh, some guidance. My mind was still jumbled up from being ambushed. All I remember saying is, how about misery? Stephen King's works are good enough to get you started because boys like any story about blood and breaking bones, right? Oh god. I don't recall the rest of the conversation went, but I'm certain he said, see you later at some point. And I said, yeah, see ya. Misery, real nice, Sam. If Brian didn't know you were a weirdo, he does now. What if Brian likes that kind of stuff, you know? Who knows? Okay, there's blood there. 
Okay, you better behave. You better behave behind me. Alright. What I did, I did for B. All of them, because I loved them. Okay. She did something wrong. She killed somebody. I heard that creaking. You're not creaking behind me, are you? Why couldn't you just understand? Others were nothing but poison. I was the only one who truly cared. But B didn't even appreciate the things I've done for him. Because maybe you crazy? I never wanted, wanted a drama. I think it's meant to say I never wanted drama. I wanted a poemish life. A tender, subtle love story written only for his eyes. It's totally fine if no one else gets it. As long as B does. B always welcomed, uh, welcomed it in my world. I gave him the key to it. Even if he lost it, he could always come back to our world and find it. And I think it's a good time to come back now, B. Bruh. Let's go to our small world where I placed my hearts at everywhere you love. Let's go back. Wait. Oh shit, there's a key. Okay. Um, okay. I think I know where the key goes for. There's only one locked place in this room, which is this thing right here. Oh, what do we got here? We got the hearts. We got a note. Turns out that the lake does have history about having a dead body in it. I know it's because I visit there. I visit there because Brian took me there. What? It all happened so fast. I was outside the yard reading when Brian appeared out of nowhere again. He said, hey, and I started telling, okay, it is her. Because the diary said, oh, all he had to do was say hey, and I'd say hey, and okay. And started telling me how he actually enjoyed the book and how he never read the same book twice in his life. And since he was heading out, he offered me to give him a tour of the town. Ten minutes later, we were passing Joe's diner. Okay, it is Sam. Okay, it's Sam's, Sam's diary. Home of the world's famous pancakes, says Brian. There was also an arcade across the diner. Brian hates the place because it's teeming with 10-year-olds. The donut shop was Brian's must-go-to place. I like the music store, which, according to him, seriously needed to restock. I found my own POI, a bookstore. It was weird seeing a bookstore and a gym standing side by side, though. At the end of the tour, I finally got the taste of the sweet pancake Brian worshipped. Out the window, I could see the weird gigantic hill that was also visit visible from my dorm room. Brian revealed that his secret base of some kind since few people actually visit Colton Hill. So there's something up the hill, huh? He jokingly said that he'd take me there when I'm cool enough. After dinner, Brian dropped me off at the bus station and drove off to meet up with his friends. I was exhausted but hyped beyond my limits i can't sleep how can i when the whole day just feels like a dream okay there's also a red pen okay and uh can i there's a little heart here okay cool all right let's go put the hearts in place let's see let's see what i gotta do okay let's uh Okay, so... Um... So, was it Joe's Diner? It was... The Donut Shop? And was it... Colton Hill? Uh... What I do? Okay. I guess we're still safe. So tasty. I miss morning juice bakery. B never shut up about its donuts. So tasty. They did taste sweet, just like B's heart. Each bite was another memory to savor. Just like a donut, I had an expiration date. It just turned cold and bitter. I miss its warmth. I miss its sweetness. I need it. I need to eat it up. Um. 
The fridge is open. Oh shit! Okay, microwave it. Warm donut, right? I can only think of doing this. What the fuck? Dude! What's at the window, Nightmare? Nightmare just wants to spook the shit out of me. That's exactly what I wants to do. September 25th. The golems just obliterated the hammerheads today. I know now why they say Brian and Kyle are the are more than buds. I would have called them an awesome duo. Two, if only Kyle was in the asshole of a douche. I mean, the guy has the name tattooed on his arm. Call me old-fashioned, but I think he would go to the hospital and get that ego checked out because it must be swollen huge. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Why, why do they make it sound so dirty? Like, like really? His ego checked out because it, it must be swollen huge? Like, come on now. At least he leaves me alone other than giving me that creepy stare when I pass by. I understand how Stacy can feel, can keep hanging out with him. But Brian, do they say we sometimes become friends with those who are opposite ends? So maybe it's not such a weird thing. For me, the real win was the photos I took of Brian. Watch out for Sam Holt and the rising teenage stalker. Oh, fuck. Sam is a stalker, yo. I, w I had high hopes for her, but I think she might be the one. Bringing the Polaroid camera I bought years ago during my camera geek phase seems like a good idea now, Sai. I know I promised myself to stay away from people, stay away from the drama, but when I look at Brian, when he talks to me, it feels like maybe, just maybe, it's okay to have a little drama for myself. I'm not ready to define what this feeling is, but for now, I'm going to label it as, as I'm looking for a shoulder to cry on and just shove it under my bed, just like the pictures I took today. Dude, she's, she's stuffing pictures? Okay, hold on. Okay, I can't. I thought I could find the creepy pictures under the pillow. <gasps> under the bed. Isn't that what she said? Oh, but I can't really access it. Alright. That's crazy. Like, ego. Like, come on. Swollen ass ego. Like, that's crazy. Okay. Flip it. Alright. I hated every moment I was not with B. I was helpless. Every day I wanted to call him just so we could chat. But I was afraid of what Brian would think of it. It could it could even hurt his reputation. Wait, every day I wanted to call him just so we could chat. Okay. Why would it affect his reputation if they spoke though? I don't know. When I finally worked up the nerve to call, all I could do it was listen to him say hello. That was as far as our late night phone call chit chat could go. I hung up wondering if he could, if he knew who was on the other line. I mean, that's creepy as shit. Like, if I received a call and nobody spoke, I'd feel a little, like, you know, weirded out. I ain't gonna lie to you guys. I remember the strong burning sensation that came every time I called him. So she called him, like, a lot. It looks like, and she never said a word. That red fiery sensation. Red. Wait, can I grab that pencil? Okay, I can't. I can't grab the marker. So fucking red. Red everywhere. Sam plus Brian. SB. Sam plus Brian. Sam and Brian. Brian and Sam. Whoa, okay. Whoa! Finish where you started. Oh shit. These alerts are scaring the bejesus out of me. What just happened? I'm not used to this setup. Hey, great. Thank you so much for the host. Thank you, thank you. Oh, oh. I can... Oh. Oh! Okay. How do I do it? Uh Okay, we did it. Oh. Oh.
Okay. Okay. Oh. Oh. Wow. Is there any in the bathroom? Oh shit. There was one in the bathroom. Holy crap. Okay. Alrighty then. Uh. Oh, this one is a hard one. Uh. Okay, we did it. Okay. Oh, there's another one. Oh, fuck me. I hate this. Oh, it's... Oh, my gosh. It... Oh. Oh, she's gonna kill my ass. I can't see. Oh. Uh... Oh, we did it. Oh. Ah! Oh! Oh my god. Holy shit. Hey, Viper, what's good? What's good? Doing good. How are you? Just getting this, like, I'm getting spooked up. Like, my room is hella dark. And right now, I'm just. Damn, like, right now I'm scared as hell. There's no light. I don't know where to go. We're in the fucking fort. We're in the Colton Hill. That's exactly where we at. Oh my god, we're in that secret place. We're in Brian's secret little place. Holy shit, this game's so good. Oh, the stick! Sam, meet me at Colton Hill. You know where to find me, Brian. Who the fuck is that? <gasps> Yo, somebody killed Sam. This is... Bro, I am so lost right now. Finish where you started. I can't touch it anymore. Oh wait, do I have to put this somewhere? Oh, there's two of them. Two day for Mrs. Lacey's book report is around the corner and I'm still not finished. Only if it wasn't too disturbed. Normally, I would bother reading a teen romance story, but for some reason, I thought, hey, why not? The premise for Mingled itself is pretty generic. Jenny has a huge crush on her childhood friend Michael, but she can't get Michael to think of her as more than just friends. She reaches a conclusion, and that's because of all the girls around him. So she starts making a list of all the basic girls who, who also have a crush on Michael. What she planned to do with the list is just yet to be revealed. Oh, Jenny, Jenny. Okay, I think we might have to look out for Jenny. Uh, yeah, it's a, it's a horror game, uh, Viper. I don't know what was that. That was somebody, like, running towards her, right? Jesus, okay. Um, I, if I can finish reading the book by tomorrow, I'll be able to finish the report with enough time for a revise. A plus. P.S. I wonder how Brian is doing with his assignments. Why am I interested? Because he's been asking for help with some of his works. And I'm glad... I gladly agree to. Why would I do that? Because by helping Brian focus on his practice, he can also bring trophies to our beloved school. It's safe to say I'm a part of a bigger cause. Not like I'm doing this for personal reasons, right? This reminds me a lot... Even though this game is older... But this reminds me a lot of like 13 Reasons Why. You know? Can I leave? So what do I do with this note? Will I put it on the fridge? No. Maybe I don't have to do anything with this. With this note. Maybe I just leave it here. Hmm, I kind of feel like this is an item thingy that you gotta do. I don't know. Okay. Yeah, let's see how it goes. Let's see how it goes. I'm trying to figure it out myself. I wanted to read Brian like a book. Peep into his beautiful head.
Okay. Just making sure nobody's at the window. Filled it with desires I had to securely incubate. Oh, what is this? You. Desires of whispering words like, don't leave me, don't go away, don't smile for others. Imagine. Please don't look away, please don't look away. Okay, you guys know I have to look away, right? Okay. I guess we're safe, right? Do I... Oh shit! She's... She's pushing my fa my face to look away! Yo, this is so cool! Oh shit. Oh no. It's fucking dark. It's fucking dark. Dude, I don't want the pencil. I need light. I can't. I can't see shit. Get up. Please get up. I can't move. Oh, there it is. No fucking way. And I can't get up. <gasps> oh! Okay. Oh, wow. Dude, that was amazing. Hey, Raspy, what's good? How are you? Dude, dude. Oh my god. October 4th, 2006. Stacy invited everyone to the late post victory party at her place this Friday. Where that she told me that this was the hallway herself. The sudden act of courtesy was enough to leave me frozen. But to think of it, a self-conscious beauty queen like Stacy would love showing off how tolerant she could be. I prefer celebrating quietly in my room, but since the party is practically being held for Brian, I thought it would be sort of rude of me not to be there. He was nothing but nice to me since I met him, so at least I could do is show up. Plus, I could probably witness the face Stacy makes when she sees I actually had the nerve to show up. Maybe, just maybe, I could even piss her off if I can manage to strike a conversation with Brian. And Omega hanging out with an alpha. Why does she treat herself like that? That's so crazy. No worries, go. Thank you so much. Uh, Kyle would be busy comforting Stacy, fuming about how I messed up the ecosystem. No peer pressure, Sam. Just clean drinks and hopefully some casual talk with Brian could possibly go wrong. Maybe a lot. Like you getting murdered and leaving this diary behind. And maybe the killer is reading it right now. Hmm. Like staring into closed eyes. I could never know if B knew I was looking at him. Did he even know I was there? Maybe he knew, but simply didn't care. The only thing looking back is my decaying sanity. I wanted to look away so much, but what's the point? When the stench is still there. What stench? I started to think the only way to get B's attention was to throw myself off Colton Hill. How'd I come so low? Oh, whoa. I think it's meant to say, how did I become so low? All I wanted was a chance to show how I feel about B without any noise getting in the way. I still could have some bad peace with Brian despite all the shit I had to deal with. Hmm. Brian was super likable. Everyone liked everything about him. They couldn't stop smiling when Brian started talking. The smiles they gave him made me want to puke. They smell as if their relationships with Brian mean much more than the one I have with B. And yet, I was the only one left with a broken heart when he left Rose and Peak. B was so determined about leaving that being a star player wasn't enough for him. B needed to be fucking model student. Nothing says pick me into college admission like spotless student's records. Oh. The 
this is some poltergeist shit. Suicide suspecting and death of miss missing teenager. The girl of 17 who was found dead at the Colton Hill likely ended her own life. Police says Sam Holt, a transfer student of Wayright Academy, had been reported missing for six days until Rosen Peak authorities discovered her body in the forest. Due to the days of the heavy ra uh, rain around the time of her death, the investigation on Miss Colt's death faced a few challenges. However, interviews with the school faculty members and its students led to the possibility that she threw herself off the cliff of the Hol Colton Hill after months of rejection from her peers. She was rarely seen with others, says one of the former teachers. She was even publicly humiliated just before her disappearance and must have worked as a tipping point for her. Fall did not kill Sam instantly. It is possible she gasped for her through her broken neck before dying. Holy shit. Let me in then. Let you in. Are you the killer nightmare? Are you the vicious killer? Let me find out. It was nightmare. It was nightmare. Nightmare killed Sam. And made it look like a suicide. Imagine. <laughs> Imagine. Oh man, everything's gone wrong. All my senses are screaming in pain. I don't even remember drinking any booze. The pain only escal escalated the moment Brian texted me. You feeling okay? No, I was not okay. And why is Brian asking me this? Did I do something to him? According to Brian, I went from being quiet to crazy happy and cute. His words not mine. Real quick, I was close to being the center of the party that he had bring me back to the dorm. Why can't I remember any of them? Congrats, Sam. You've reached a new low in life. Shit, is this it? Is this how I die? Sincerely asked Brian if there was a good place to kill himself. What the fuck is wrong with this chick? He said maybe now is a good time to show you my secret hideout. Since I passed the test by showing the whole school a different me. Is he seriously going to take me up? To his Colton Hill hideout. Tomorrow I'm going to so-called most romantic place in Rose and Peak with Brian. There's something in my head that keeps me awake. And it's not hungover. Heaven? Nah. <laughs> Imagine. I might be. Damn you nightmare. I always knew it was you. Bruh. What's going on here? I don't see anyone though. <gasps> oh! Okay. Okay, what else? That's it? Oh no! We're outside! We're outside again! Oh, what the fuck, dude? DUDE! <laughs> There's somebody right there. You guys see that? Hey, Raspy. Thank you so much for the sub. What's good? Welcome to the family. Welcome to the dark side. Let's go. Holy shit, dude. Okay, I'm scared. Oh, we're the killer. Is that Sam? It looks like it's a woman. It looks like it. it's her, right? Reading the note. Thank you so much, Raspy. I really appreciate that. Much love. Thank you. Dude, I'm scared right now. What game is this? This is called Love Sam. I believe I have it, right? Yeah, Love Sam. It's on Steam, by the way. If you have PC games, it's on Steam. Well, she's gone. So what happened? Oh! Oh shit! Oh shit! What the fuck was that? Dude! Wait! Wait, 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 wait. Sam was there. Did Sam commit suicide and then we were looking? Are we Brian and then somebody else pushed us? Jesus. You have Steam? I have no idea, Raspy. I have no idea. No, I do have Steam. I bought this on Steam. I also buy my other games on Itch.io. Nobody spooky in the bathroom? Okay. 
Look, I still have the no here. Okay. I still have that little... Little head. What is this? Okay. Oh, we've read that already. Okay. Oh my god. Brian actually took me to Colton Hill. The hideout Brian mentioned had a wonderful view of the small town. So wait, he did take her on the... On the date. And didn't kill her. Okay. So maybe the, the murder is not Brian. Maybe... Okay. We gotta figure it out. The hideout Brian mentioned had a wonderful view of the small town. The whole place under the golden sunset. The best part of this this spot was it... It is quite hidden and unsafe. Hmm. You could easily roll down the hill if you are careless or drunk and no one could find you for days. How awesome is that? Being drunk with that wonderful moment that didn't cause an, any inc... I can't. I can't with this girl. Didn't cause an accident though. We sat there for less than an hour, but it felt like an eternity. I can't even remember what we talked about. I do remember saying how beautiful Rosen Peak is and Brian being all meh about it. I guess you can get fed up with views like this too. Today only regret is that I failed to bring the true essence of the hills view back with me. There's a reason why I gave up photography as a hobby in the first place. At least the close-up shot of Brian was not half as bad. When I came back... Down from the hill, it became clear that my life is just becoming a bit more messed up now. And I know because I really want to talk to Brian again soon. Help me get to sleep quickly, diary. Love, Sam. Alright. Okay, okay. So it's saving. What the hell is this, though? Brian's secret hideout. A closed Colton Hill hiking route discovered by himself so he can hide from the world around him. Not a flashy place, but it had a great view. Okay, what do we do with this? Do I stick it here somewhere? All that life problems. Uh, okay, I can't stick it anywhere. Can I rotate? Okay, we can rotate it. Good shit. Alright, no worries. Thank you, Raspy. I wish it could be our special place. Our hours and hours only. Colton Hill is nothing but a rock pile of blood. Soaked memories now. Why did he have to break my fucking heart? Was I just one of his many friends? I can't place it there. Okay. So GG. Maybe that's it. That's why you wanted to leave even after I told him we won't be together anymore. He thought it was... Too good for Rose and Peak and me. To, to him, I was just a background in the picture. Okay. Wait, who's taking pictures? Say word. You don't deserve a face. Who said that? Oh, shit. Dude. The book reported was f report was finished days ago. Shut the front door. No! Are you fucking- Oh my god, what? I don't like it! I don't fucking like this right now, bro. Where's the light? Oh my gosh. Oh, fuck. Oh. What the fuck is this? Is that me doing that? What, the camera? Oh, it is me. Oh. <laughs> that fucking scared me. Where's the light switch? Please. I don't like the dark. Oh my god. Dude, can I open the door? No, I can't. Oh my god. So what do I do? Oh. Oh. Oh, it's not me doing the camera flashes. Okay, okay. My bad. I thought it was me. Because every time I clicked, it felt like it would photograph. Okay. We got a camera. Oh! Do we even want to go out there? I think I'm going to read the note in the washroom. Because I kind of feel a little spooked out. Tina be wanting a night light. Mmm, you know what I meant? When I was a kid, I did. Because I used to watch a lot of horror movies, like, like especially like Hannibal, Silence of the Lambs, and 
for most of my childhood, um, Hannibal, um, Anthony Hopkins was my worst nightmare. Like, I was legit scared of that man. And every time I watched his movies, I would sleep with the nightlight on. Because I thought this man was going to come and eat my brains and shit. And yeah, so... But... For your information, Nightmare, I do not use a night lamp. I actually like sleeping in the darkest of dark. So I have a good night's sleep. But yeah. Thanks for making fun of me, by the way. <laughs> That's crazy. The book report was finished days ago, but I cannot stop thinking about the mingled. Is it mingled? Mostly because my stupid brain thinks I'm sort of like the main character, Jenny. To summarize the rest of the book, Jenny goes on to this jealousy field. Okay, so this is a book that she wrote. Okay, okay. But that still doesn't make any sense, though. S plus B, though. Jealousy fueled sabotage rampage on every girl who has a crush on Michael. I know it sounds horrible without context, but it's actually kind of cute. She finally stands on top, but Michael finds out what she's done. He breaks Jenny's heart, saying he can't be sure of who, who she is anymore. Things work out in the end, but that's not why I sympathize with the dorky psycho girl. Brian is just like Michael. Popular as a killer, spiceps, busy hanging out with people. I can't see what he... I can't see what he wants because of all the noise around him. I know he wants to go to college, but what about beyond the boring stuff? What kind of person does he like? What does he think about me? He told me about about his mom, how she died of cancer last year. It must have been so hard trying to look okay in front of everyone who's depending on him. I sometimes feel like I can't see him because he's so busy trying to meet everyone's expectations. I know how those around us can, can be hurtful and... It's dangerous to rely on them so much. I just wish I could tell Brian one day that I'm here for him. Damn, eh, as, as long as you know, I don't mean it. <laughs> That's crazy. I know you're just joking, Nightmare. I'm just messing with you. So what do we do? Oh, okay. Alright, hold on. Let's put the... Okay. It, it's away. Um. Hey guys, we're back to visage. No light. Oh, we got light. Okay, we got light here. Can't go through the door. This place is just a mess. All right, Haitian. No worries. This place is just one big mess. Alright, let's get on the chair. I'm not sure what to do there. Alright, something here. Brian got what he wanted in the end. He left Rosen Peak as soon as he was given the chance. As for me, I was left to suffocate in the hole of the tainted memories until I drown in my own endless nightmare. Don't leave me. Every day, every night, I'm surrounded by whispers. Whispers that lie. Whispers that eat away my brain piece by piece, no matter how I try to. Cover my eyes. Oh god. I hear them again. What the fuck is this? Grab it. Are you in a healthy relationship? Take this quiz to find out. Okay. Um, alright. One must take as much as one gives. Yes. Obsession is a strong form of love. Uh, no. No one can leave what you can't. No one can have what you can't. Uh, no. B never loved you. Oh, they're both no. What the fuck? Anyway, I can have my camera back now. Hey, what the hell, Nightmare? You tripping? That's crazy. You the killer. I get it. Wait, by the way, guys, which no should I pick? The green no or the red no? I don't know which one to pick. I guess we'll go with the green no. What the fuck? I did, I did. I did, Viper. I did green. Because you are a selfish little shit. 
Green no or red no? I can't look back. Stop, Viper. Don't, don't scare me. Ugh. Is he behind me? Oh, oh my gosh. Red? Okay. All your problems are caused by you? Red no or green no? Red? Alright. It's all your fault. Red or green, guys? Help me out here. I don't know. Maybe we should go green for this one. I don't want shit to, like, come behind me. Green? Okay. Holy shit. Your survey results, it looks like your eyes are still closed. It's like listening to your own voice only. Okay? Keep listening them. Keep listening, Dan. Maybe you'll understand something this time. Bruh. Bye! I don't want to talk to you right now. Bye-bye. Do not call me again, you hear me? Damn it. Bye! <laughs> Let's see if it let's see if it would uh call me again. You think it <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> I did decline twice. Alright, okay, I guess this time we'll pick up. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. Whoa, creepy. I know it was going to be something stupid like that. That's why I didn't want to pick up in the first place. I hear them again. It's getting worse. The fucking shithole town left a disgusting crack on my heart. And it's getting bigger and bigger. The voices I hear from the crack are getting louder. I see more and more eyes staring at me through the gap. Oh, wait. What's this? Miss Laisley gave us an easy poetry assignment for once. She said it. It's okay to make a parody of the classics as long as we stick to the ABC's B's pattern. So I took the liberty of getting my imagination to go ABC berserk. Here's a slight taste of my early work. Roses are red, violets are blue. My life would have, have sucked if it wasn't for you. Oh wow, that's so corny. Call me Sam Spear or is it Hot Spear? Oh my god, bro. I could have waited for Brian to ask for my help with homework again, but I decided to make the first move this time, and I guess what? He said he can handle it alone. Call me paranoid, but I'm worried I might have hurt Brian's pride. That's what happens when Sam opens her idiot mouth or uses her idiot brain. Why does she overthink everything? Like, she legit thinks, like, you don't need your help. It just means you got it. That's it. Move on. What he does need help, he'll hit you up. But this girl overthinks everything. Holy mac. P.S. I've decided to carry my diary in my bag. The doors in the little girl's do uh, dorm are way too easy to open. Not as easy as Stacy, though. If you know what I mean. Wow. She easy, huh? I even saw one of the girls using a notepad to crack her door open. Besides, I have this weird hunch. Someone's been reading my diary. I've decided to... Ignore this hunch. So she ignores the hunch of somebody reading her diary, but not the hunch that Brian is okay and he can do his homework by himself. Hey, Viper, I want some of that pizza. What the hell? You got pizza? Yum. I had some pizza yesterday, though. And some wings. Okay. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. I see more and more. Okay, I've read this. When I ran out of places to run, I only had one solution. Now my memories are scattered all over the dark. Now, I must look for them. One, two, three, four. What? Is there something to do with this? What is this sticker thingy for? Okay, I gotta look for something. Alright. I'm not sure what I'm looking for. 
Oh no. Oh wait, what does it say there? <laughs> oh! Fuck off. I indulge your gaze. Dude, I don't like. Th I, I don't think I'm liking this, guys. I don't like dark. I I, I don't like walking through. Okay. Fuck. <laughs> Ooh. I cherish your smile. Okay, so she was stalking Brian hard. Look at these pictures. You don't even know. Okay, there's some light here. Can't use the. We did this in the kitchen, right? Um, maybe the washroom or the window. No. Can I turn on the light? No. Uh, excuse me. What does it say? Ooh, that is so good. Be my endless sun rays. Dude. She's... Bro. Use the camera as a weapon. Bro. Ni Nightmare is funny today. Let me tell you about Nightmare. Nightmare is funny today. So, what is the last picture? Okay, hold on. Let's try to... This was the first picture. Can I hold it? Oh, I still can't hold it. Okay. Can I... Okay. One. No, no. That was... That was three. Right? That is two. What? Oh, that's four. Hmm. I'm missing the second one. Hmm. I'm not sure where the... Only today? What would the last one be though? It's not on the bed. It's not there. Hmm. Maybe the ceiling? Um. Shit. Okay. I lost the direction where I was looking. Okay. Um. I don't know where... Where is the last one is at? Oh, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> oh! Keep me forever warm. Okay. Let's sit down. Uh, okay. Wait, I feel like the, the way these pictures are are wrong. Okay, this is wrong. This is all wrong. Okay? I knew, I knew that this is all wrong. Uh, it seems to me this would be the third one. Yes, third one. Seems to me like... This might be the fourth one. Yes, right there. And this would be the first one because he's going in. He's going in and then he's walking towards the kitchen. Right? Come on, click it. Okay. And then... Cooking, watching TV. Still not right. Hmm. I cherish your smile. Okay. Yeah, I got I got the ceiling already. I know there was the last one had to be in the ceiling. Um Is he cooking in this one? I'm not sure. I thought it would I thought it would be in this way like that. I guess it's not. Hmm. 
Alright. I know this one for sure is one. Um. Okay, maybe. Maybe like this. I honestly think like this would be the second one. Might be wrong though. Did it work? I don't know if it even worked. I don't know. With Brian preparing for a rematch with the Hammerheads. And once again, I gladly gave him a hand with the non-important homework stuff. I must say the teachers here don't give their poor students a break just because of a test is over. It's not like I'm burned, burned with helping out, but Brian is ready trying... Trying hard to get good grades, but from what I hear, or from what I heard, he doesn't have much to worry about going to college since he's practically a local football star. Maybe his pushy police chief dad raised him to be overachiever. It's funny how a model athlete like Brian got friends like Kyle who always finds excuses to pull him out of school. It's unfair, really. As long as you are a sports star, you'll end up with the douches like him, no matter how nice of a person you are. I don't speak with Kyle much, but I don't need to talk to him. What's like, first of all, his girlfriend is a friggin' Stacy Lanings. The stare she gives me when I pass by is enough to creep me out for a whole day. I would, I would be lucky if Stacy didn't come along and started yapping about how Brian is out of my league. She has Kyle to play with, so why... Will she even care? Like, I asked her boyfriend for a drive. Jeez, have a nice life with him so Brian can stay out of the poisonous he does not deserve. Maybe Stacy like... Maybe Stacy liked Brian, but because she was dating his best friend, she never... I don't know. Bearded! What's good, Bearded? Oh, shit! Oh shit, we're watching her. Watching me. And look, all my notes over there, bro. Look, that's legit. Bro. No way. No, I'm not going there. No, 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 no. Oh my god. He might be under the bed. Dude, guys, stop scaring the fuck out of me. I'm scared. Bye. I don't want to talk to you. I wake up without waking up. Same rainy night. Why do I even pick up... Why do I even pick up these phone calls? I don't know. I wake up without f waking up. Dude. Bye. Stop calling. Uh, my lifeless room. Endless nightmare. What do you want? Okay, bye bye. I still don't know what I'm using it. You have to be sh kidding me, right? Nightmare, shut up. Look at you, Nightmare. All over the phone. Look. That's you right now. That is crazy. By the way, guys, Nightmare is the killer. Just so you know. He... Wait a minute. That's no longer the phone. Oh, hell no. 
Did you guys see the hands? Oh my god, I have to breathe, bro. <gasps> uh, I don't like this. Viper, save me. I'm scared. Greenheart University, discover your potential with our early admission program. We are waiting for <laughs> any hardworking and career-driven individuals. Apply now. www.greenheartuniversity.com Y'all got that? Y'all got that. All right. Make sure you apply today. You got a major discount. Uh... What are we doing in the bathroom? El baño? Why are we here? I also wonder if oh, we can't um, can't crouch. Okay. So what are we doing here? Gotta take a picture of somebody here. I don't get it. Why are we here? Imagine his hands uh, went into the mirror. Are you a ghost or something? I don't know. I'm not really sure what I am, to be honest. But look, as any other horror game, we don't have a reflection. I think they do that because of budget. I can't open the doors. So... Can I push myself in? No. I can't. I'm not sure what to do here. Um, well, that's why I'm leaving. Bye. Is that a toilet? What is that? I don't understand what I have to do here. Nice reflection. <laughs> Imagine. Uh, anybody know what to do here? I can't crouch. Okay. I'm going back. Because I don't know why we're here. I can't go back. I don't know what to do. I can't open the stalls. Oh, I gotta click the poster. Um. Okay. I clicked it. What one now? Um... Uh. Anything in the bin? No. Oh! What the fuck are you smiling at? What? <laughs> oh no! What the fuck is this? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I'm lost. I'm lost. Oh my god. <laughs> Was that supposed to happen? 
No, I died, right? I died? What the fuck was that? Did I die? I couldn't find the exit. <laughs> I got so nervous. I think I died. Oh, I died. Yes, I died. Oh my god, I got so nervous. I don't know what that was. <laughs> but wait, there was no exit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what just happened? Holy crap, bro. Is that thing from Ice Age? I have no idea. This is for eight. Don't push out, push the shutter. Do it! Well, I'm doing it. Okay. Yo, I don't like this shit right now. Oh, wait. Okay. Well. What are we doing? There's a note there, but how do I, uh... Uh... How do I... I can't interact with it, I don't know why. You belong here. Okay. So maybe now I can spray it? Ah, oh, that's so cool. That's so cool. What? Hey! Oh. Fucking what? Fucking trash. You belong in the trash. Holy shit. Okay. <laughs> Shut up. Uh. <laughs> okay. You still talking? Jesus Christ. No. Wait. Damn, he came. Okay, I have a. Okay, I can only. I only have a limited time to do it. It is so hard to. Oh my god, it's so hard to to get the whole thing. Okay. Right here. <laughs> oh shit! Come on, come on, come on! <laughs> oh my god! Damn, how much faster do I have to be? It's already as fast as it can be. Jesus Christ! <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my, 
What the fuck, dude? Jesus, this is so hard with the mouse. I thought it would be easier. Like, come on. Covered it all up. Come on, come on. Uh, okay. Jesus Christ. Okay. I got this. I ain't got shit. Bro. Come on, man. How is that possible? Like, is it- That thing was covered. Like, it's ridiculous. <laughs> Shit was covered. Okay, well... Oh shit. <laughs> Did I not cover it? Did I not cover it? Did I not cover that shit? Looking on Google how to be a graffiti artist? That's crazy. Tina needs to unlock that skill. Whatever, you guys. Whatever. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Like, legit. <laughs> Look, sometimes it works fast. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow, okay. Well, thank you very much. I've become a painter, an artiste of the skill of the arts. Wrong word, maybe? Nah. I wasn't fast enough, that's the problem. What the hell have you done to my apartment? What have you done? Holy shit. It's super dirty. Super duper dirty. I need a house cleaner. There was a consulting session for the Greenheart University student program. They called it CUSP. Lol, what the fuck? At the gym today, I've seen its posters all over the school since the day I arrived. I had nothing better to do, so I decided to give a visit and spend my precious after-school time reading brochures. And once again, just like at the library, I was surprised to see Brian there. He was at the early decision program booth. I wanted to talk to him, but instead I ran for my room and jumped to my bed, and out of nowhere, tears started to drop. I bet it was because of all stupid. Those stupid hearts. Yep, I saw those hearts again. And now they were on the gym walls too. Whoever drew them must be very insecure about relationship. Insecure like me. Deep down, I know I want my own hearts on the wall too. But seeing Brian at the university booth felt like finally getting punched by reality. I have no idea what I'll be doing in a couple of years. I thought of staying here at Rosen Peak. But with Brian preparing to leave, there's just no point to it. No Brian, no hearts on the wall. God, it's like my brain's creating a storm. I'm just gonna li lie down for a bit. Hopefully I'll wake up next week. Alright, so now she's all depressed and shit. That's crazy. Picasso, Michelangelo. Yes, bearded. Professor, what's good? Tina Picasso, yeah. You already know me. You know me, you know how I do. Alright. My life is nothing but a repetition of waking up with nothing to live for. Not even a false hope to look forward to this time. Alright. Long time ago, when I finally got to accept my feelings for Brian, I thought everything was going to change. But every day was still just like every day. He was still a school star. I was still his friend. When you live in Rosen Peak, people expect things to stay the same. If anything changed between us, it would, could ruin B and everything around them. So that's how it went. Nothing changed and my whole world burned. So basically, you're gonna like let your whole life just crumble because of 
a dude in high school? Come on. I kept telling myself maybe after graduation I'll be able to express my feelings for him. I let the fire in my heart eat through my soul and body. I called myself a coward, but I choose to keep what little I had to enjoy. I was a poor kid crawled up in bed. Okay, so we got another sticker figure. Her. We got his and we got her. I still don't know what to do with those. Alright, poor. Do I really deserve that charity title? Am I really the victim of all this? Who is here to judge me anyways? It's all over. Everyone left me. So why do I have to feel like I'm being chased? Like someone is always watching me. Like someone always trying to judge me. Whoa. Stacy. How did I invite to go? She's not in or not. Send? I don't know. Oh, she's coming. Dorks like her can't say no to party like this. Wait! Okay, hold on. We are Michael. Right? Stacy's boyfriend is Michael. But then again, Stacy has a friend called Jenny. And this might be either Michael or Jenny. Sweet, time to give her drama she wants so bad. Please say whatever. Oh, come on. Ooh, we're getting closer. We're getting closer to the end. I, I feel it. Hey, Dope Man is back. What's good? I know I, I used half of the diary writing about Stacy being a bitch, but now she's just unstable. It wasn't even a past... The first class when I saw her arguing like crazy with Kyle. Heard her shouting something like, I'm doing shit for you before storming away. Then she saw me and I was her next target. She studded through the, towards me and said, this is all your fault. Why don't you go back to fucking San Diego? Whoa, what did I do? She was off before I could even open my mouth. I turned to Kyle for answers, but he was gone too. So maybe that might be Kyle on the phone? Hmm... Come to think of it, I rarely saw them hanging out recently, but I didn't know things were this intense. Brian's been acting weird, though. Too, though. He wasn't talking to me much recently. Even, he even looked somewhat more upset than usual. I finally tried to ask him what's wrong, but he cut me short asking if I called him last night again. All I could give was a blank face until Brian said, never mind, and walked away. What was that about? What did he mean by, again? Calling him in the middle of the night for no reason is something I've dreamed of. But that doesn't mean I actually did it. What the hell is going on? So somebody's like... I think somebody's like... What the fuck? I never noticed that before. I think somebody's trying to pretend to be her. Alright. Let's, let's keep going. Like someone who's always trying to judge me. Can't really put the... I don't think that would go in there though. It's because of her. The moment she came into our lives. What a little I had to enjoy started to crumble. Only bad changes happen in life. No matter how hard I tried to protect it. A city girl just asking to become an outsider. That was all she was to me. Hell, that was all she was to everyone. Even to be. But then I saw them talking at the library. Okay, this is the real stalker. So I was right. My girl Sam. Yeah. That's my girl. I knew she wasn't a stalker. Alright. I couldn't see clear, but I couldn't know if from B's face. He was making her smile. It was another smile taunting my feelings for B. No one ever know what kind of emotions I was hit with at that moment. A change was happening and I didn't like it at all. Stacy didn't like it either. Okay. So this might be Jenny. Alright, Viper. All she could could never stand letting an easy social prey slip her away from her. Naturally Stacy took a peek into her diary one day. Okay. She took pictures of some of the entries and sent them to me and her gang. She wanted everyone to join her twisted childish game. Uh oh 
There's some changes. The diary had no special meaning to me. Not until I read about how Brian took that cunt on a fucking tour of the town. He had no interest in girls whatsoever. And suddenly now he's hanging out with an outsider. That moment I got tired of doing nothing. I knew I had to do something. So I gave Stacy an idea. It was going to be easy. Spike her drink and get her wasted. And humiliate the shit out of her. Out of the city girl in front of everyone. Only... She would know her place. It would have been so simple. Only if Pete didn't get in the way. Bummer. I was hoping to do a nasty stuff to her drunk ass. Still can't believe Brian had to take her away like that. So Brian helped her. While needy bitch bitches like Sam. To make some people sorry. She didn't mention something about her dad in her diary. Bet she was... She has some nasty daddy issues too. I got an idea. How about we show everyone how needy bitch can be? Hmm, sounds fun, but how? Leave it to me. Just keep reading her diary once in a while. Leave it to me. Just keep reading her diary once in a while. I still don't know who Stacy's talking to. If it's Jenny, Kyle, who is it? And why is it so dark? What the hell is that noise? The clock? Holy shit. There's like a man like... Oh, what the fuck? I'm stuck. <laughs> Holy shit, what the fuck was that? Uh, oh my gosh, what did she scratch off? This is what is... Don't even know how to describe what happened this morning. This is fucked up. My hands are shaking again. It started when I opened my locker and something poured out. For a few seconds, my brain was cut off from what it, whatever was happening. When I finally looked down there, were dozens of pictures scattered on the hallway floor. All of them were pictures of Brian with gibberish written on them. The whole school was at the hall. They looked at the pictures, then at me, and then at the pictures. Brian was there too. The face he gave me, the face of disgust. He turned away and left. He didn't even say anything. I tried to chase him, say something, anything to him. But the floor started spinning and people started whispering like they knew what was going on. The air soon began to choke my throat. I swept what was on the floor and ran off to class. Of course, Stacy must have something to do with this. I looked for her, but she was nowhere to be found. The rest of the day was about nothing but avoiding eye contact with her. I can't sleep. Brian's not answering any of my texts. There is no one to talk to. Damn. This is... This is some wild shit. The diary had no special meaning to me. Not until I read about how Brian took that cut on... Oh, I read this. I read this. My bad. B, 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 B kept saying nothing was going on between them. Lies, lies. But I wasn't about to believe it. Everything that was just rainbows and butterflies. How could you lie? In my eyes, Sam was using Brian to fill her sadness. Empty life. I couldn't let that happen. Can I use these now? No. She wanted drama. She didn't deserve. She doesn't deserve shit. She doesn't get to barge in and start stealing the life I've only dreamed of. Stacy kept doing what she does. Best digging into other secrets. She sent pictures of little sh shits. Diary pages to me. That's how I found out about their their little trip to Colton Hill. It was our hideout since the first year of high school. And her presence turned into a fucking nothing. How could we do this to us? Okay. The only way to break them apart was to show Brian what a creep, what a creep she was. Okay. Well, I still can't use it. 
That's pretty cool though. I kept reading the disgusting words she wrote on her diary. Large, large. At the same time, I felt something. A reminder of how I felt when I fell for B. How it felt so right and terribly wrong. Screaming into my pillow never helped with making feelings go away. Oh shit, another message from Stacy. Anonymous, what's good, what's good? Did you find the diary yet? Babe, I think you're taking this too seriously. I knew it. It's Michael. No, but now I'm I'm Stacy. Okay, and she's talking to Michael. Did you find it or not? I think she knows. I'm sneaking into her room. I can't find it anywhere. Babe, don't you think you're too obsessed with breaking them up, or give you're giving up now? Forget it. Hey, then you probably should take a nap. What did you eat? What did you eat, Anonymous? Please, baby. Me. Brian doesn't even like the girl. I said forget it. Oh, damn. Anything changed? Okay, so we're still safe. We're still safe. The school counselor called me today. Miss Ferns asked me if the rumors were true. Rumors that I've been leaving. Hot drawings all over the school. Rumors that I've been stalking Brian. At this point, the whole school must be out of its mind. I didn't even know the letters in the fucking heart spelled S and B. And what? Just because the initials are S and B, suddenly every name that starts with them are either Sam or Brian? And guess what? Even crazy words are on the street. Sam... Holt, the daughter of the child molester, craves forbidden love. How on earth does Stacy find out about dad? Why would she do do so much fuck fuck up to my life? And where the fuck is she? Is she? You know what? I'm tired. I'm tired of waiting for Brian to to listen to me. I'm tired of looking for words that describe this fucked up situation. I can't believe I have to go through this again so far from home and so soon. Brian, please, please say something. Hey, that's what's up, Anonymous. That's what's up. Popeyes, ooh, that's always good. I haven't ate uh, Popeyes in a while. Then I remembered, she wrote something about her dad. It must have had something to do with her existence in life. I started digging. It wasn't even a challenge. Keith Holt arrested for sexually assault a teenager. It was beautiful. I found the perfect ending and all I had to do was fill in the rest of the story. Oh shit. What's this? Oh my god. How could Sam Holt not kill herself? If my dad went on the news for touching teenage girls, that's a bye-bye world for me. Wow. So, how do I click this? Uh... Okay, let's let's get up real quick. Can I click this? Apparently I can't. Okay. Yeah, Popeyes is always good. I like the little mini sandwiches that they got. With the spicy sauce. That's bomb. It's really good. Some halt calls Brian from a payphone in the middle of the night and silently listens to his voice. Sam Hall takes Brian's pictures and keeps them hidden in her locker. Can I... Okay, I still can't do that. Okay. Sam Hall draws hearts all over the school to let others know Brian is hers. Yo, that was so cool. They got mini sandwiches? Yeah, they got like little baby sandwiches, uh, Anonymous. Bucket of chicken and mash. Yummy. That sounds good too. A needy city girl with serious issues. She was just a disaster waiting to happen. No one, even Brian, would think otherwise. I made all the preparations while Stacy spread the rumors I created. It was never easy. I once almost got caught taking a picture of Brian using the restroom. But I kept going. Every picture I took was a love confession I could never make. Every heart I drew was a sacrifice for him. And at the end, I... I got what I wanted. 
Oh, I do love the fries from Popeye's. So good. Those fries are amazing. When enough suspicion piled up on Sam, I stuffed all the pictures I took into her locker. It was a happy coincidence that B was there to see the spectacular unfold when it happened. It was over. Things were about to turn back to normal. And then, Stacy's drama filled, filled head exploded. Huh. Uh, what? How come I can't... I can't really put anything there? Okay, what do I gotta do? Oh, shit! Hide, coward. <gasps> oh! Oh, there's a no right there. Okay. I'm done watching you get away with shit. I've done to me. You've done to me. Do you really think I wouldn't find out? That you've been using me to break Sam and Brian apart so you can have some fun with her? Well, I had my share of fun. When I told Brian that you've been doing, you should have seen the face he made when I got the part of you drawing those retarded hearts all over school. Hope you enjoy your, your happy life now. There is no Brian to get in your way. Oh, by the way, I saw you staring at that, col that college poster. What? Did you like the girl on the poster too? Is that why you turn her face off? You really need help. And don't bother calling me Stacy. Oh shit, so wait, somebody had a- her own- Stacy's boyfriend had a crush on her? And why is it so dark? Oh. Uh. Can I go in? I'm done watching you get away. I've already read this. Dude, it's so dark. Can I go to my desk now? Why is it so fucking dark? I can't see. Okay. Can I turn on the light? I can't see shit. Oh, there it is. Oh, wow. Fuck that part. That part was... Ugh. I hated that part. Oh. Please, man. Stacy got it all wrong. It was just a misunderstanding. I was just trying to prevent Sam from getting into your head. Please, B. Don't do this. Text me back, please. The day Stacy told Brian I was the last that he talked to me. He was so ang angry at me. He wouldn't... You would never understand what I did for him. Typical. So fucking typical. Again. I was left alone to suffer. This time, someone had to pay. Okay. Okay. Brian. What the fuck was that? So what now? In this creepy ass apartment. Oh. The locker. Um... Oh wait. Uh... Okay. Is this it? Okay, this is it. Holy shit.
Okay. Dope man. Yo, this. I almost rage quit this game earlier. By the way, I was getting on my nerves. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, hell nah. Get the fuck away from me. Uh... I died? Fuck. Okay. <laughs> I don't get it! Ugh. I keep dying. I, I don't even reach, like, I don't even go near her and... It kills me. <laughs> Bye! <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, it was Kyle. It was fucking Kyle the whole time. How do I get rid of it? I can't reach it. Oh. Wait. Stop doing that. I must need a stick, right? Yeah, the stick that we found. In the apartment earlier. Oh my god, look at Sam, yo. Oh, she's still alive. Uh. <laughs> Sam. So, it is Kyle reading the, the diary. Sam's property, new arrival. With Brian preparing for a rematch, we'll hammerheads once again. Saw Brian the afternoon practice. Brian's acting weird though. Oh my god. So he's the one. Holy shit. Okay, I don't know.
Holy shit. So we found out. Why is it so dark though? Huh? Oh, I'm in the closet. Oh. She still can't leave. Let's see. It was an accident. I never meant to kill her. Or maybe I did. Did I? But does it matter now? Did any of what I did matter? I left the team soon after it happened at Colton. After that, the school, from what I've heard, Brian easily got accepted to the university. He left down right after graduation. The fact that he's a star athlete with a notable school record worked like a charm. He's been growing the idea of leaving Rosen Peak since mom died. His mom died. Leaving alone with his obnoxious dad didn't help much with being attacked to his hometown. Attached to his hometown. He never got to talk about it. Seriously, Brian didn't really want to. But every time he hinted about leaving, I tried so hard to ignore what it meant what it meant for me. Even those college posters out all over the school were laughing at me. They were making fun of impending doom. They were all saying, Haha, see? You're gonna die alone here. Maybe I knew. I knew that B took an interest in Sam because she was just a clueless new girl who was lonely enough to do anything for any guy who was nice to her. But jealousy is a strong creature. It quickly devoured my mind. Soon, anger took control of me. And I just needed someone to be mad at others than Brian. Even after he left me, anger stayed. Devoured me whole and again, it's time to wake up. But awake for what? To be greeted by the fact that I must start running around in circles again? That I m must stick needles into my body so I can forget my past for a few fucking minutes? It's just like the story Miss Lasley said. Once told us about the shortest horror story in the world. The last man on earth heard a knock on the door. I'm alone in my room. I'm alone in this world. There's something knocking on the door. I don't know who it is. But I keep the door locked. No one comes in. No one goes out. I'm so tired. I just want it to end. Just let's just wake up and let's let's just open door. I don't care who, what's waiting for me. But what I... What about my diary, the one I've been keeping to remind myself how I am the victim of everything that's happened? I don't know what I would do without it. What will keep me going from what keep me going from going insane? So here comes the big question. Should I keep it? No. No, it's time to admit, I've been keeping a memory of lies. I'm the only one to blame for th for the shit I had to deal with. It's about time I burn it. But what after that? I could open the door out of here, face whatever's waiting for me, or I could just stay with the fire and let go. Whatever the choice, it's time to say goodbye. What the hell? That's crazy. I was finally awake. My head was aching from the desperate pumping of my heart. My burning lungs sucked in the air and for what felt like an eternity. But I knew nothing was over. I needed to get what's coming to me. I told the police everything that happened three years ago. 
It won't fix what I've done, but at least I finally got the closure I deserve. I know it, it doesn't mean anything now, but goodbye, B. Damn, that's it. Game over. Unreal Engine, Odyssey, Blender. Damn, thank you for playing. Thank you, thank you. Wow. I did enjoy it. I ain't gonna lie. Sweet. At least we know. I think it was Kyle. I still don't know who did it. I think it was Kyle. But. I don't know.